This is not brain surgery. It's making sounds. It's learning to make sounds very well and connect them together nicely. Something as simple as the sound air has a name like neutral diphthong. But learning the name is not important. For example, when I look at a picture book of pretty flowers, I don't worry about remembering the Latin name for the plant, but I'm glad to know that it's there on the page. I'm glad to know this is a Campanula rotundifolia. Also, the structure of this program is large, but don't be intimidated by that. If I took you to see a roller coaster, you could say, look at the size of it, the twists, the turns, the hills. Think of the mathematics, the geometry, the engineering. Or you could just buy a ticket and enjoy the ride. Just because something has an elegant structure doesn't mean it has to be any more complicated than breathing. When I talk about theory in this program, I use a higher vocabulary in order to keep it concise and not muddy up the waters laboring over theory. You can ignore all the theory and gain much more from this program by just doing the practice and enjoying the ride. Practice. 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 Do you see what I'm trying to emphasize here? Regular practice. If you're planning a course of self-study, or if you're a classroom teacher looking to add pronunciation practice to an already busy curriculum, regular practice is what you should keep uppermost in mind. Let's suppose first that you are a classroom teacher. Your class only meets once a week for a two-hour session. If you can only spare 15 minutes of that session, then make it the first 15 minutes of every session. Remind your students to carry over the good speaking skills from that little 15 minutes throughout the rest of the class session. For example, if I took them through tonal A, long A sounds that day, I would caution them to make good tonal A sounds throughout the session even as we move on to another English subject area. Building on this approach, you could appoint a monitor, have one or two students keep an ear peeled throughout the session, and ask for a correction whenever they hear a student mispronounce table as table, agent as agent, save as sev. This frees up a part of your attention and at the same time builds awareness in your students. Teachers, while we're talking about your attention, when the DVD is playing, it acts as the master teacher, freeing you to become a side coach. Move around the class and give your students individual attention. Listen to the sounds they're producing. Check for good physicalization. Now regarding the independent student engaged in self-study, the only thing important is to get in the physical practice of producing the sounds. Think of these programs as exercise videos and be creative. You could even play your own music in the background. Most programs are simple enough that you can even divide your attention, multitask, especially as you become familiar with the course. Practice while you're making dinner. Practice while you're exercising. Practice while you're practicing your golf swing. Stay relaxed, but energized. Be sure you feel the lip shapes and points of vibration. Enjoy all the stretching. Get into all the sound-making exercises. Remember, sometimes it's the seemingly silliest things that really work. That's certainly true of speech. So loosen up, enjoy it, and produce amazing results.